So good morning. Hi, I'm Kathleen O'Sullivan Fortin. I'm on the board of directors here for ALD Connect. I'm just watching people come in from the green room. Happy Saturday. Welcome to the 2021 Patient Learning Academy. For those of you who were able to join us yesterday, this is the second day when we get to take everything we learned yesterday and um, build upon it. For those of you who weren't able to be with us yesterday, uh, no worries, you didn't miss anything. Uh, the videos will be out soon and you can watch those, but there's so much new great content and opportunities to share that um, there's a lot of good stuff to be had today. So together we are 348 and counting. I know that people register throughout the meeting, but at last, at last count. And we represent 20, more than 25 countries. We represent five continents. Um, so just to get a picture of what's who's with us today. I, I would be remiss if I didn't start by thanking the people who made all of this possible. And it's truly our sponsors, Bluebird Bio, Minerex Therapeutics, Puxel, and Swan Biotherapeutics. Thank you so much. Without your financial support, uh, we would not be able to do what we can do. This is our agenda for this morning. Apologies for that delay. Uh, we have a little housekeeping and then we're going to talk about ALD Connect programs and then we're going to talk about ways for everyone to get involved because if you are tired of seeing me on a screen, come join me, take my job. Um, what can we expect today? It will be like similar to yesterday in that there will be a, a series of webinars. Um, as always, uh, you can see the presenters just like now. They can't see you, but you can ask questions in the Q&A and chat. Um, we will also have a series of breakout sessions. Um, as a reminder, breakout sessions are not recorded. Uh, those are shared live and they're a live experience. So I apologize to anyone who's watching this thinking they're going to review the whole day on video. You cannot. Um, but with that said, I know a lot of us fall into multiple categories of phenotypes and experiences. And so we have two breakout sessions, two full hour sessions, um, so that if you feel like you fall unto, under multiple categories, um, you can um, you know, play around with which one you go to. In the first session, just to note, um, there is, um, uh, six choice. There will be six choices, including so our our standard uh, families with CCALD, um, newborn screening, monitoring, asymptomatic families, um, men with AMN, women with ALD, uh, a Spanish call, and also a bonus spouse, caregivers, and non ALD siblings and parents. Um, of ALD patients. So acknowledging that that's a real special category that deserves its own support. And maybe you'd like to meet somebody else who's in your position. As far as the second session, that will be from 3 to 4 p.m. my time, Eastern Standard Time. Um, and just to note, there will only be five choices. So there will not be the spouse, the non-ALD spouse, caregiver, sibling, and or non-ALD parent um, group. So you have an opportunity to go to another one as well. Um, I also wanted to point out that um, at two o'clock my time, so you'll look down your schedule and find out what time that is for you, uh, there will be two um, options. So there's either pain, discomfort, and sensory changes in ALD with Dr. Eichler and Brian Wishart, and, um, or there's a special global gene sponsored navigating financial aspects of ALD and transplant. That will be out of the two sessions, that will be the one that is available in Spanish with translation. Um, I, with that said, the Lionsbridge translators are amazing. I, I think they are doing such an incredible job and I'm so grateful for their service today. And so, um, but they can only be in one place at one time. So as, as all of us, so they'll be in the financial aspects. And again, we're so grateful to Global Genes for the special grant that they gave us to put on that program. And then finally, just be kind to yourself. There's a lot of information that came in today and yesterday. And I know um, as a patient, I can say for me, I know sometimes it's really heavy and I need to step away. Please make sure that you take the time to take breaks to 
you know, get a snack, treat yourself well, know that you can watch these later, know that you can come back and join the discussion at any time. What are the ALD Connect current programs? I'll have you know that there are many. Um, this is just a snapshot. This certainly is not um, the full list, but we have webinars, community calls, our directory, a peer mentor program. We have financial support programs. We have a landscape project. We have work group four and a community calendar. Webinars, just quickly. It's our opportunity to do what we've done now for these two years of Zoom meetings. Um, it used to be kind of um, a special event, and now we've realized we can do it all the time. But still, webinars are a one, often a one to a ninety, a sixty minute to a ninety minute um, opportunity for us to invite an expert in and um, really answer patient questions and share information. When we see what's missing out there, um, we try to fill that spot. So they're always, as with all the videos from the meeting linked on our website and also on the YouTube channel. So you can rewatch anytime. Um, and now that we have our, these great translators, we can work on going forward, uh, securing their translation services. Some recent webinars that we did in the past year um, are shown here, some amazing panels, a mix of um, expert doctors, expert patients. And, um, you know, we've really, tackled some really important topics. Um, so check out, check them out um, when you have time and there are many answers just waiting for you. Also, just a coming soon, um, after yesterday's discussion, I'd be the first to volunteer to say that we need a follow-up ALD industry panel uh, to get to those Q and A's that we just didn't have time for. So to all of our industry folks watching today, uh, look for the email. We would love if you would be willing to come back and chat again. Uh, we've also are interested in, we're putting together a sleep disorders in ALD. So many people are, are challenged with their sleeping patterns and also dietary pitfalls and heroes for ALD AMN patients all the time on social media. If you participate there, you'll see that people are asking for guidance in that direction. But really any topic, let us know. Send your questions to admin at aldconnect.org or info at aldconnect.org. Interface with us on social media. We want to answer these questions. If you have a question, I guarantee many, many people have that question. Ah, community calls. Um, these are a way for us to really get some expert from our fellow patients. So expertise from our fellow patients. And much like the breakout calls today, these are available on a monthly basis. So symptomatic men, the next, the next meeting will be Tuesday, November 16th, 7 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. For symptomatic women, it's, it's always or almost always um, the fourth Monday of the month. And so that's November 22nd, 2021, 7 to 8 p.m. I'll be there. Um, the asymptomatic monitoring phase newborn screening calls happen on the next one is Wednesday, November 24th at 7.30 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Cerebral pre, post, or no transplant community call led by the amazing um, 2020 Ambassador of the Year, Jesse Torrey, is Thursday, the next one is Thursday, December 9th at 3.30 to 4.30 p.m. We also have a young adults with ALD support group. They don't meet by Zoom. That's my mom joke, cut them some slack. They are rolling their eyes. Sorry, John Cooterer. Um, there's also the Spanish monthly call. Um, I will leave it to the translators to pronounce that correctly. The next one will be Saturday, November 27th at 5 p.m. Eastern Standard. And also watch our newsletter, watch our website. There are new calls being added. Um, there's an, we realize that these times of day are not perfect for everyone. Uh, they're actually a little inconvenient for everyone. So uh, we have, we always have community members stepping up and asking to lead and host a call. Um, so keep watching. We have a community directory, just so you know, if you start a conversation here today at the meeting or on any of our community calls, please know that you can 
you can get in touch with people who are interested and continue that discussion. For us on our aldconnect.org website, we have uh, a secure password protected community directory. You do have to, to get in there, you have to be willing to share your email, your phenotype, and what state or country you're from. After that, it's up to you if you wanna share more. Some people share their stories and family pictures. Some people don't share anything more. But you know, it's a great way to stay in touch with people. Another thing is that if you need, if you feel like you're getting support from our community or on our calls, but you feel like you could use kind of an extra Sherpa, an extra uh, buddy along the way, we launched last year, we launched the peer mentor program. And so we have trained representatives, fellow patients from all phenotypes, diagnostic pathways and experiences, and we match mentors and mentees. So check the website, there are links to um, both the application to be a mentor and the application to be a mentee. And um, just wanted to make sure that we could capitalize on all the patient expertise that's out there. I also want to do recognize that we are partnered with the ALD Alliance and Remember the Girls. And so we're working to expand these offerings. Uh, we would hope that we could add a newborn screening mother or father uh, as a mentor from all states with newborn screening, just knowing that that would be so great to be able to talk to someone in your own state or from your own state who might have um, more information on local resources. We also have financial support. So we understand that there are a lot of different aspects to being an ALD patient. And obviously, um, you know, emotional support is for one is one thing and community support, always noting that it's not it's not meant to be um, and it, it's not meant to be a replacement for actual mental health services. You have to know when you, what you need. But we also acknowledge that there's a lot of expenses that come along with being an ALD patient. And so we have two separate um, but interwoven programs. We have what we call the Myelin Project Patient and Family Support Program, which is direct patient non-medical treatment grants. So what does that mean? Here are some examples. We've paid rent and utilities. We've paid for assistive devices. We have assert, we've helped people uh, with mortgage payments, car payments. Um, also, we have helped people with travel expenses, both to get to see an expert. So if there's not an expert in your area and you would really like to have a second opinion, let us know if we can help. We've also helped um, folks get to conferences and both all the travel things fall under the Michael Benton Travel Scholarship Program. So before Michael passed, he was an avid traveler and really loved the spirit of travel. And so, um, you know, his family and many generous donors have made it possible for us to continue um, to support the travel of patients. We also have ALD Connect merchandise. And so, uh, check out our bonfire store at bonfire.com. This is the new t-shirt for this year's annual meeting. Uh, we're always adding more things and designs. And then besides our standard programming, there's also the landscape project. So when we realized we took a step back, ALD Connect was founded in 2013. And last year we realized, you know what, we, we're big enough now, we have enough you know, buy in with the community that we want to know where are the patients? How are they being diagnosed? Who, who is treating them? Are they happy with the center that they're being treated at? You know, we just want to know more and how can we share that information? So we have created a series of, of surveys. I say we, uh, that's really led by our volunteer um, our volunteers are coordinated by our award-winning 2021 Ambassador of the Year, Felicity, um, interviewing patients and collecting patient stories. And so you may have seen social media posts or emails um, about these surveys. I encourage you to, to fill one out. And I know that we're always as patients inundated with surveys, but um, really this gives ALD Connect an opportunity to know what are we working with? What do we need? And how can we help? 
um, as part of this project that was fun with generous funding by Bluebird Bio, uh, we were able to put together four one day um, boot camp experiences. So a one basically a patient learning academy for each specific phenotype. And so there's a little graphic about when we had those those were fully recorded. So if you fall under any of those categories, please feel free to check our website and watch um, as we just very specifically talk about um, each of these patient groups together. And then how can you get involved? There are so many ways. You can join, a, if you have five minutes, if you have an hour, if you, if you have more, you can join a call, you can register for the directory or the peer mentor program, you can come to a webinar, you can fill out a survey for the landscape project. We can use your time, talent, or treasure. All of it will make our community stronger. And as an aside, there's still time to get in on that $50,000 um, angel donor challenge. And then another way to get involved is through work group four. Work group four is is our patient outreach and education. And that's really where we figure out, it's patient led, um, and we try to figure out how can we amplify our message, raising awareness, raising funds, raising, raising the energy level of our ALD community. And how can we make sure we're not duplicating our efforts? Because there are many wonderful ALD foundations and we try to work together. Um, and so we work group four is really a place where we can create where we can bring everyone in the ALD community together. So if you represent another organization, if you represent if you don't, then you represent ALD Connect. So come and join us. And here's just a few of the other ALD organizations that regularly come to work group four meetings. It's once a month. You can check the calendar, and um, we come together to really figure out what problems need to be solved and how we can better work together. Really fantastic community partnerships here. And I should also note that this year we launched a community calendar. It's available on our website. It's available on many of our partners' websites. And basically we realized we wanted an opportunity not only to promote ALD Connect um, events, but also to promote all the events from our great community partners. And so again, sometimes it just, I look at the community calendar and realize I can't, I can't put an event on a certain day. Well, I could, but I don't wanna split the community. So I wanna make sure that we have the ability to attend and participate and support as much as, our, as we can. Another project that ALD Connect is leaning into in, in this year is the voice of the patient. So we would like to answer these questions and I'm not gonna read them all. Um, but you know, we want to know how do you feel about your ALD? What symptoms worry you? What is the unmet? How can we quantify the unmet need um, of our ALD and AMN patients? And we would hope that we can take these answers, this voice of the patient, collective, collectively, and then share it with industry, share it with regulatory um, agencies, so that they know what we're going through and so that they can help us fix it. Along those lines, this past year, we were able to engage with the FDA at a listening session for, for AMN patients. It's not recorded. I was honored to be a witness to that meeting. And I can say that the eight presenters on behalf of our ALD community were absolute heroes. You may know who they are, you may not, I'm, it's not mine to share, but I will say that they really opened some minds and hearts that day. And so we'd love to add to that. So we have, we have applied for an externally led um, meeting that will be an expanded meeting. Um, at our listening session, we had 90 minutes to make our case for AMN. We will have a full day to make our case for adult patients AMN, ALD, ALD, Cerebral, men and women together sharing our stories. So again, stay tuned to our emails and our website on, and social media on how you can participate because your story is the one that's missing. It could be the, it could be the thing that gets the ball rolling for the FDA. And again, 
Thank you to our sponsors. It all starts and ends and comes back full circle to this. Bluebird Bio, Minarex, Swan Bio, and Poxel. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your continued support. Um, and in case you are curious, as of 9.45 this morning, we had received $8,840 in donations to this drive, which means we're almost at 18,000 with our angel donor. Please know there's time. Please consider sharing it on social media or with family. If they, if ever, if all our good friends gave five dollars, it turns into ten, and it would just add up. So I appreciate it. And finally, thank you so much for coming to today's Patient Learning Academy. I'm so excited to share everything. And I'm just going to check the chat to make sure there aren't any questions that I've missed. Ah, I've noticed that, again, our 2021 Ambassador of the Year, Felicity, has, has dropped into the chat all of the landscape surveys. She has dropped the community calendar so you can see the exact times and dates of um, the next community calls. Um, and so just know that there's a lot out there. There are so many ways to get involved. And I hope you will join me. So. I hope I haven't spoken too quickly. I realized that I thought I was not sure I'd get through all my slides and then I blasted through. Uh, so I apologize, but really welcome, welcome, welcome. I look forward to the day when we can be together again in person. Um, and I don't know, is there anything else? Leave me a message if there's something I, I forgot to it to attend to here. Uh, Julie Chu has asked, do we email responses to voice of the patient? There isn't a form. Correct. Um, let us know, answer the questions. Um, I think that's right. Do you see, I had to check and see if Kelly, and do you, do you guys know Kelly? She's our executive director. She has been with us in two, for two years. And honest to goodness, in that time, she has absolutely revolutionized the amount of content that we can put out. So I have to say big ups to Kelly because she is truly the unsung hero. She is the motor. She is the mitochondria of this organization. And I'm so grateful for all of her effort. So Kelly just said, let us know if you're willing to share your story, whether it be through the patient voice project or if it be at, at an FDA meeting. Uh, it will be a hybrid meeting. We have consultants that are going to make us look great and shiny and perfect. And all we need is you. So thanks very much. I'm going to close this a minute or two early, um, reminding people that we've got a great session following this on gene therapy. Um, I can't wait to tune in as a, at, not as a speaker, but as a, a viewer. And I look forward to seeing many of you in the various breakout sessions today. Thanks very much.